Hi and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my investing strategy, the monthly performance of my portfolio and reveal my received dividends. Here you can see the investing strategy and I highly recommend you consider make at least a simple strategy. It will support you during your investing journey. To the right, we have Peter Lynch and we can see he is saying stick with a steady and consistent performer and that is one of my main pillars when i scout for dividend growth stocks if we sort my portfolio on 30 days we can see at the bottom we have comcast at minus 18 percent this month and after that ebay then we have blackrock at minus 16 percent then tsm at minus 15 then we have Union Pacific at minus 13 and Tiro Price at minus 11. And this is for September. And I read that this was the worst September since 2002. So if you guys were down a lot this month, you are not alone. I think the S&P 500 was down about 8.6%. My portfolio was down 6.5. So I'm, I'm very pleased how it's holding up. But... It's never fun to see your total value in your portfolio go down. Anyway, the next couple of stocks we have Broadcom and Altria. After that we have Visa at minus 10, HP at minus about 10 also. And then we have Mondelez, a new consumer staple for me, minus 9.7. And then Amerisource Bergen, healthcare distributor at minus 8.4. Then we have JP Morgan Chase, minus 8, into it also about minus 8% this month. And then we have Amgen, minus 7, Snap-on, minus 6, about, yeah. And then we actually have Home Depot at minus 5.5 for the month. And then Merck at break even. So the healthcare stocks are holding up a bit more uh, during this period. We can also see Johnson & Johnson actually at the positive 0.4. Same goes with Starbucks. Now we're in the positive 1.6. And it's quite fun to see Starbucks in the positive return in the portfolio, which has swung up a bit since I uh, bought it. But other than that, it's quite red overall on the total returns. Now we have Globe Life, a life insurance company at plus 3%. And... Yeah, the winner for this month is Bristol Myers Squibb at actually positive 3.6%. So all in all, that makes the total value of my dividend stocks about $20,600, a dividend yield close to 3% and the annual yield about $600. The return for these holdings are now minus 9.5%. And I actually made this portfolio tracker in Google Sheet. If you like a copy or want to learn how to build your own, there are actually links in the video description for videos where I show you how to. Over to my index funds. So these are my index funds. I have about 70% in global index funds. And then I have 15% in Swedish index funds, which is my home country. And to complement the global funds, I also have some emerging markets like South America, Africa and China, which is not in the global fund. So the total is similar to my dividend growth stocks, about $20,000 actually a bit more for the funds. They are keeping up a bit better actually. Let's check out some graphs I made. Here we can start with my holdings and this I have sorted in weightings so here i can see if a single positions get out of hand or if i have room to fill up on a single position that's not yet at the weight that i want right now it looks very good no single position over seven percent in my portfolio you can see here my largest position is actually visa which i am very comfortable holding as my largest position Next up, we have my sector allocation and the dotted lines is the allocation weight that I am aiming at. 
It's not that I want exactly like 5% communication services and 15% consumer discretionary, but here I can see if I go way out of line in a single sector, so it's very easy for me to see and balance my portfolio. And these sectors are influenced by the overall sector allocation of the S&P 500. There are some sectors though that I not are very comfortable investing in, and that is like oil and gas, minerals, etc. So I skip them. And here we have the dividends that I have received since January 21. As you can see, it goes up and down. Sometimes I make adjustments in the portfolio where I maybe skip some high growth dividend stocks and go for more growth oriented positions. The last graph is my portfolio value. And we can see it started out at about $16,000 January 21. And after that, it was smooth sailing. But now the last two months, it has actually dropped off quite a lot about six and a half percent the last month which is not that surprising when the market is blood red as it's now let's check the dividends received last month for my six shares of ups i received about nine dollars and during september i held a swedish real estate company named sbb which i received eleven dollars for hs of visa gave me about three dollars Six shares of Johnson & Johnson, about six and a half dollars. Seven shares of 3M, about ten dollars. Six shares of Home Depot, eleven dollars. Twenty-five shares of Realty Income, about six dollars. Thirteen shares of Stanley Black & Decker, about ten dollars. Six dollars from Tiro Price Group. And that makes up of total dividend from September at $72.54, which is a new record for me, a new monthly record. So that's always something, even if the stocks are down a lot this month, the dividends keeps rolling in. And that is one thing that's really advantageous of being a dividend investor. If the company don't cut their dividend, you still get some nice income into your portfolio. Watch my latest video right here about five stocks that are on a sale right now. See you soon. Hey do.